Hey guys, it's Sister Payne. How are you doing? I miss you guys like crazy. Wish we could be together this year, but I'm super proud of the YCLs for putting this virtual camp together this year. They worked really, really hard, and so a big thank you to them. So I get the pleasure of doing a devotional for you guys. Um, I think it's scheduled to be the last devotional um, for the week on Thursday. And my topic is uh, Righteous Sisters. It goes along with our theme uh, this year, which is standing together as righteous sisters or stars. So I was thinking about this subject and I like to Google things. So I uh, looked up this quote um, by the person that was president of the church when my family joined the church. My mom and dad converted and President Spencer W. Kimball was our prophet for a long time, loved him. Um, he had this to say about Righteous Sisters. He said, much of the major growth that is coming to the church in the last days will come because of many of the good women of the world will be drawn to the church in large numbers. This will happen to the degree that the women of the church reflect righteousness in their lives and to the degree that the women of the church are seen as distinct and different in happy ways from the women of the world. I love that quote. Um, and so I started thinking about the different righteous sisters that I uh, looked up to and saw in my life. And I thought about the different phases of my life and when I was um, a young woman I think the people that I looked up to the most were my leaders uh, my church leaders I had um, sister pond senior was one of my young women's leaders loved her she was a great example to me uh, my family members um, that were in the church um, that were living righteously and my friends um, you know when you're a youth you have really good friends and you go to camp and you participate in young women's and you look up to each other and rely on each other. That was really important to me when I was growing up in the church. Um, and as it continued on, you know, once I was um, married and, and in, you know, as an adult um, and right now, I still look up to my church leaders, um, my friends, um, and you youth, you guys are amazing and you're constantly inspiring me and I'm just so happy to be able to um, have the privilege of, of working with you guys. You're amazing. So our theme this year is standing together as righteous sisters. I know it's a little hard to stand together right now. Things look a little different, but really they're the same. We are together. Um, we do... Um, stand together as righteous sisters is just we're happening we happen to be standing apart right now um but we are still supporting each other i'm sure you guys are in contact with your friends and i know your leaders are in contact with you um and so our job is to continue to support each other and to love each other and have each other's backs and um stand as a righteous sister you know for your friends members or non-members um I know that we'll be able to get back together again. I'm so looking forward to next year. Can't wait to be with you guys in person. And um, and we will have a time where we'll be able to get back together and, and stand together as Righteous Sisters, actually physically together. And I'm so looking forward to that time. So I just want to end um, with another quote. This one is from our current prophet, President Russell M. Nelson, and he um, has such respect for women, and I love listening to his talks. Uh, I loved listening to this talk again that he um, has on, on women and our role in the church, and it's a quote from him that says, Men can and often do communicate the love of Heavenly Father and the Savior to others. But women have a special gift for it, a divine endowment. You have the capacity to sense what someone needs and when he or she needs it. You can reach out, comfort, teach, and strengthen someone in his or her very moment of need. And I have a testimony that that's true. I know I've seen it at camp all the years that I've been going. Um, 
you guys are amazing at knowing when people need, you know, reached out to, um, and you're amazing at doing it. Um, again, you're just such wonderful examples of, of righteous sisters to me. So I just wanted to share this with you, sir, share this message and my testimony. Um, and, uh, I love you guys, miss you guys. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I hope to be able to see you as soon as possible. Love you. Bye.